Next up, the expansion or downloadable content of the year. Mm, I also like that we're talking about expansions now, again, still. They're back, man. They are back. 2013 was the year of the expansion. Uh, not many, 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 many nominees. XCOM, Enemy Within. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hey. I know what I'm fighting for. Dragonborn. Sky, for Dragon's Skyrim. Dogma? Uh, da, da, da. The Citadel. For Hell yeah. <laughs> Mass Effect 3. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting my knife out for this one, guys. Uh, Star Trek Online. Why am I the closest to John? <laughs> yeah. What are they at? It's, it's, it's fine. I get a, a, a long, long reach. Yeah, long reach. Go for Coop first. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some Blood, time to run. Blood Dragon. That's so weird. Man, it's going to be a fight. <laughs> is that really an expansion? Actually, I think Ethan's going to fight with himself. It's DLC. Yeah, I'm going to fight with myself. It's, it's, not, it's, not. it's like a standalone. It's DLC. A but standalone DLC, I guess. Yeah. Or expansion, or yeah, it's yeah. it's. But you don't need I Far Cry Three to play it. Yeah, it's row four. Mm. Well, I think you it's, just download it. Yeah, I feel like an ex- buy it. I feel like an expansion Shit. has to. You have to have the previous yeah, game you to play. To. Yeah. Correct. Do you want to disqualify? Well, let me, I mean, let look, me at, look at the let me finish what I'm doing. Let's finish the list. <laughs> <laughs> Borderlands Two, Tiny Tina. I mean, I, I still feel like the way the way Borderlands Two handles some of that stuff that could be all standalone too. I think it's. But like, you still have to own Borderlands to play it. Technically, you do, but, but they could have technically could have made, made it. They could so have made that, that happen with Far Cry. It. Yeah, like we just praised Blood Dragon for not forcing you to pl- have Far Cry Three first to play it. It seems right. kind of weird to then punish it. I guess after the fact. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Expansions that didn't make it: Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisma, Dark Dark Arisen. Jesus, I made a point. <laughs> uh, awesome, not Star Storm and New Super Luigi U. <laughs> Oh boy, um, mm. Ethan! I feel like you need to fight with yourself here. Um, <laughs> I don't think. Okay, thanks, Josh. Thanks for uh, nominating things and voting for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Did anybody play Saints Save Christmas? I can't. I missed the guy. No. I can't imagine. Notoriously, I Saints Row DLC kind of sucks. Yep. Especially yeah. among this among this I, company. I like the idea of it, but it's it's usually not great. There you go, that? doing that again. <laughs> It's, the, it's it's not gonna win, but I did. I watched Volition stream the Saints Save Christmas, and there are a lot of funny jokes in there. But it's essentially it plays like it plays like Saints Row Four, oh. yeah, just the Christmas theme. Can we nominate Saints Row Four as the expansion of the year? See what I did? <laughs> because it was. Some, <laughs> I see what you did. <laughs> uh, a little, uh, that might win that. Actually, no, it won't. With a, with I don't a, think it would. <laughs> Star, Star Trek won't go away. Did you see that? I made fun of Josh <laughs> and Photoshop oh, freaked the out. Next generation. Okay. Oh man. Okay, we're done. This is these are the these are the them. Um, pick the one you like. We're gonna move on. <laughs> mm. Fuck. I guess, I guess. I can't speak to Citadel, but I only heard awesome things about it. <laughs> so awesome. I. <laughs> Like I, that. That's what I kept hearing. I just went through and watched like every YouTube video I could find of every single conversation that, that could possibly happen between every character at the party. Because unfortunately, in my Mass Effect 3 save, Kasumi's dead. The, uh, the thief. Oh, man. Yeah, spoilers for me. <laughs> so <laughs> she, she is the funniest person because she's not at the party because she's cloaked the entire time. So she'll just uncloak to say something funny and then and then so she kind of just like appears says something funny and then and then is gone again at one point she's going through your underwear drawer so if you're male shepherd you know she says something about boxes or briefs uh. and then she <laughs> then she says something if you're female shepherd about how sexy your underwear is oh i see where you're, yeah that oh, does man. sound awesome <laughs> wow <laughs> oh man um i love those characters yes they're my friends <laughs> Uh, sadly, Mor- I, uh, Morden is not the. Does, is Dragonborn is that exceptional, or is that just kind of more? It's more. I, I mean, compared to some of these, I mean, it was pretty good, I'm, but it, it, I'm edging I, towards dropping to some of these. It wasn't the okay. breakaway that. Yeah, I mean, I liked it though. You so know, sounds better than the underwear simulator that you got with Mass Effect Three. <laughs> I think it's between Mass Effect Three. <laughs> that that was just a funny a funny moment with Kasumi. <laughs> I think it's between Mass Effect 3 and Borderlands 2 for the final spot uh, for me. But I would uh, say Borderlands 2 was great. 
that Tiny D- Tina DLC was more than you could have hoped for. I like the idea behind it, the whole like D and D. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I liked that it had a different style than the rest of the game. It seemed like it's got. It wins the tiebreaker vote for. But I didn't play Mass yeah. Effect Three, so yeah. I can't really. I didn't play the Citadel. The whole thing is just awesome. One I hear is Gifford's. Uh, <laughs> Shepard, someone's trying to kill you. He's, you're doing uh, such a terrible job at selling yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> Gifford and JP are both. I mean, is it fa- is it just Citadel. fan service? Yeah, yeah. It's not like ex- an exceptional story. It's fan service. Yeah. Versus, okay, I'd almost, I'd almost go to Borderlands Two at that point. So, I'm gonna drop Mass Effect Three and chat. You're hey, take you know it off? what? Sorry, chat. The yeah. list entirely? Yeah. Yeah, those, yeah. yeah. We only get three, man. <laughs> <laughs> got ugly, for, got ugly uh. for Jordan. Man. Okay. It's the, the only thing I was going to fight I feel like Ethan for. needs to have a conversation with himself and uh, let us know what he's going to do. Okay. I don't think Ferg should all be on three this list. I don't, I don't think it counts. I, I don't think I Blood think Dragon's Dragon, DLC. I think it's a, I, I think it's a complete game. It was game. good as a standalone. That's why I'm almost like I know it all. It's all inclusive, but those other two added to the games that they already had. So to me, Far Cry Three was good, but it feels more standalone. I, in my mind, I think that games, you get more points if you can take a base game and enhance it with your DLC. As far as I'm concerned. Okay. So that is my ar- argument against Blood Dragon. Um, man. <laughs> So yeah. he's so no blood dragon. So. so blood dragon. I wouldn't say blood dragon. I would say that would be third place if anything. It was good, but yeah, I think it's third place. Um, okay. Like, enemy within. I like blood dragon. Completely reinvigorated. <laughs> uh, enemy unknown. Completely reinvigorated it. Tiny t- Tiny Tina added some some more to it. It was really well done, but I mean you got to look at so Tiny Tina maybe added eight to ten hours. Mm-hmm. Uh, Xcon added probably 40 i mean you're gonna play the game again you know i mean there was so much to it new levels uh new equipment a whole new faction you were fighting i mean it made you want to play that game again it's a different kind of game though adding 40 hours to a first person shooter would be ridiculous content wise oh yeah definitely but i'm just looking at like if, if you have to break it down to value um I mean, you sold me on Enemy Within a couple of months ago, so my, my vote, because I know he loves all three of these, <laughs> my vote is wherever Ethan's yeah. inner battle lies. <laughs> I was going to say, and, and, and to me it also represents, because Tiny Tina, like it was good, it was well done, but Enemy Within represents what DLC should be. I mean, that's what people should do with DLC. That's how DLC works best. They took time on it. You spend a little bit more money on it than when you, you would for most, but it wasn't a cash grab. They gave you good stuff i'm still cook i'm still clicking cookies <laughs> <laughs> that's the best ending to what you said completely, i'm gonna place, completely related i'm gonna place a weird argument here against far cry 3 blood dragon not being the winner but striking it from this list and replacing it with citadel just because we keep saying it's standalone and yeah. it's not expansion dlc that, i mean that was my initial response but so I if know. that's how we feel about it why leave it on i don't feel that way i feel like, the, feel like in the spirit it still works like it's i get i get justin's I would, point to where that, do you feel that way just because i want citadel to be on the list i don't hate you that much <laughs> I get Justin's point to where they like could have more, they could have sold it as they, DLC they could have. and just launched it yep. from the start screen different separately, but they chose to pull it out so that you know people could buy it that didn't have, which was probably smart on their part. And hell, I want. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, I want more of them. I feel like you know, you look at the uh, the the Washington George Washington Assassin's Creed Three stuff. Like there, it that, starts to inch towards towards a like a reskinning. Of the game, yeah, like, I know what you're talking. Like, there's about. a bl- starts to get a blurry line. Uh, I feel like in the spirit, it, it still works, but that's the one that we've already marked off. So I'm asking, are are we enemy within or are we tiny Tina? I'm enemy, enemy within. within. All right, all I've got to do is ask the questions, <laughs> get my answers. Uh, the Citadel loses. That's all you need to know. <laughs> 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 Broke Jordan. Oh, it's coming out of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even game of the year yet. 
Uh, expansion or DLC of the year goes to XCOM Enemy Within, <laughs> Runners Up, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, and Borderlands 2 Tiny Tina. Uh, dungeon something, right? And notably not on uh, the list, yeah. Citadel. I, I, <laughs> Honorable we mention. can make these jokes since Mass Effect 3 won Game of the Year last year. I really don't yeah. feel bad. So, um, it's doing fine. It's It'll, <laughs> it'll be okay. Uh, all right. Oh. Suddenly, remember, uh, we got to get. You guys need to leave right now. Okay. Right. <laughs> Office is closed. <laughs> Just remembered. Closed to jerks. <laughs> Shutting it down. 